Hey, good morning, everybody. Morning, Happy Wednesday. Happy May 2nd. Peace. Today's topic, crazy people. It just seems we brought we know, it up. We know a lot about that. Seriously, we attract crazy people in all streams, in our family, in our friends, in our lives. We attract crazy people. We're not proud about it. We don't know what we do. And those people who are crazy, they tend to not know they are. But they are. Perfect example. We were leaving McDonald's one morning after breakfast and leaving the parking lot. I happened to notice uh, an elderly lady uh, getting out of her car and she fell in against her car. And I thought, oh, maybe she's in distress and needs some help. My daughter wisely said, Daddy, don't stop. Just keep going. I thought that was kind of crass, but so I stopped and I, I got out of the car and I said, ma'am, are you all right? Do you need any help? Her response was, who are you? Why are you trying to help me? What do you want? I'm like, uh, 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 what do you want to help me for? I said, well, I thought you were hurt because you fell back into your car. Do I look like I'm hurt? Meanwhile, my daughter sitting next to me is in tears because she knew that this lady was different, shall we say. Special. I said, I Precious. Said, I said, well, ma'am, I, I thought, anyway, well, who are you? What's your name? What do you want to help me for? I said, ma'am, you look like you're okay. Have a great day. And I got back in the car, started to pull off. I, I didn't look at her, and I said, don't say a word. I couldn't help it. And then we drove off. Those are the kind of things that we talk about when we say we attract crazy people. I knew she was fine. That's the only reason I didn't help. It wasn't that I didn't want to help. I was like, Dad, she's by herself. She's handling stuff herself. She drove her car there. Chances are she was fine. If she needed help, she would let us know. She's She just looked like she was that type of person. I wasn't being like, oh, forget about her. I don't care. No, no, no. I no good it. deed goes unpunished. Poor thing. He was like, I tried to help her. I really did. I really tried. I was traumatized the rest of the day. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we're talking about when we reference crazy people. Uh, the other part of this discussion is something that I will let my daughter continue because this is all about her. So I'm just going to sit back and enjoy this spectacle because I've lived through it once and I like hearing it again and again. So you'll hear it for the first time. Enjoy. Okay. Number one, I'm sorry. Number two, speaking of crazy people, here's my story. I was on my way to... The memorial service for my late teacher so I was on my way I was getting ready and everything was going on and I realized I had no lotion now if you know black skin we get gray just like that if it's cool if it's if our skin was wet and it dried it goes gray so I was like looking around for lotion looking around for lotion and Dad had lotion, but it was that male cologne stuff, and I was like, I did not want that on me. So, I was looking around, looking around. I had noticed that Dad had a fried grilled cheese sandwich. Dad, could I see your sandwich? He's like, why, you want some? Yeah. Needless to say, <laughs> shut up. I took his sandwich. It was really, really. Anybody who knows about grilled cheese, they know it's fried in butter and everything, both inside and outside. So I took some of the grilled cheese and <laughs> put it on my skin. Hey, it worked. And I looked great. I'm not ashamed. I need moisturizing. 
don't hate. <laughs> Have a great day. Don't hate. It's You guys know. Take whatever you can take. There's a little moisture, you know, especially right here, you know, on your hands. I'm done. Have a great day. <laughs> My gosh.